son of Rome. I didn't expect to finish it this quickly, though. But, uh, yeah. I have finally finished Rise, Son of Rome. It's a game that was on my bucket list. I always wanted to do it, and I never got a chance to do it. So, uh, really, really happy that I was able to finish it. Um... So like usual, once I finish a game, I'm going to give my little 10 minute spiel on my quick review on the game um, after that it's freshly into my mind. Um, I'll get out of the credits. Actually, I'll get out of the game. Um, yeah, so Rise Son of Rome. Um, I think that we have to keep in when when reviewing the game you have to remember when this came out and this came out at the beginning of this generation of xbox which is in 2013 uh, if it wasn't a launch title it was pretty close to um so let's go with the positives um the graphics the look of the game is phenomenal um, it's really really good uh, the soundtrack is good as well i really liked it as well um the yeah so the the way the game is structured kind of a, an rpg light i guess i guess does make a difference but you never really feel like making an upgrade makes a difference for you so it's fun in the fact that it's like an rpg light but it's not really you don't see that impact of those changes or those upgrades that you do um you just kind of it blends in with the game really um, the story is short. Um, I have to admit the story is short. I must have played this game within 12 hours, 10 hours or something. Um, so it's pretty short. Um, the mechanics of the game are dated. Uh, clearly this was at the beginning of this generation and I think that at the beginning of this generation, we still hadn't fully tweaked the the type of games. I think it really came into its own in, in Assassin's Creed Origins. And every game after that kind of, at least for me, at least kind of acknowledged that, okay, that was the, the scheme that would work. Here, the, the, the controls just feel clunky. Maybe at the time it felt better, but right now it feels like it's clunky. Um, it, it, it kind of the re sometimes you're pressing a button and you think you're going to do that, but it does something else because it preceded by, you know, it's really, really like weird. You get used to it, but it takes like, um, a, a good hour to get used to the fighting style of the game. If I would have probably gone to the beginning of the game and fought the way I did, um, like the way I know it now, it, it would have probably gone a lot better. I would have probably found a lot more things as well. Um, yeah, I, I wanted a little bit more of this. Um, I think it's kind of like, um, a, a gladiator light in the sense that it's a similar story where somebody gets killed and, and, a, a gladi, a, a soldier wants to revenge his father's death. Um, and in gladiator, obviously it's on his father, but, um, here it's a similar type of story. It's a revenge story. Um, the good part is I didn't. It didn't end when I thought it would. It did continue a little bit further, although I kind of found it a bit a, a bit eh, um, anticlimactic. I think it was better when I it it should have ended when I was fi uh, fighting the general. At least that's what it felt like for for me. Um, other than that, I think it was a good effort. I think it's one of those games where. If there would have been a sequel, I'm sure they would have done a better job of it. Um, at least for the single player mode, it felt like single player was very was was on the back burner. I haven't played multiplayer um, in this game personally, but I think that they focused a lot on multiplayer at the beginning, and I don't think that it really did much. Um, well. Anyways, I didn't really uh, play the multiplayer, so I can't really do... I'm not a multiplayer guy, so it didn't really appeal to me. Um, but I think if they would have made a second one, I think they would have. it would have made it... Um, 
uh, made it a little bit more. Um, it would have came onto his own, similar to Assassin's Creed One, where the story was very short. The um, the you know the the mechanics are very clunky. If you go back to the original Assassin's Creed or even the first four or five games, probably until Black Flag or Unity. You're going to feel the controls really, really lackluster. Um, however, if you play Origins, you see that he tweaked it to a point where it feels comfortable. And they kind of continue that with Odyssey. Odyssey is basically Origins with little tweaks to make it better. Um, so having said that, um, it does feel like it's a game out of its time. Like you can take... I said the same thing about The Witcher, but what made The Witcher stand out to me is that the story was so strong it overcame any technical difficulties that you could have had or technical downfalls in this game the story is good the vi visuals are great but you're not going to get satisfaction from the story alone so it makes the controls even that much more evident i guess so yeah um i i think that it's a decent game um if I had to give it a rating, probably a 6.57. It's an average, it's a better than average game, but it could have done a lot more. Um, and it's not a bad game by any means. It just, it's underwhelming comparing to what you were, you were going to expect. It's, it's pretty underwhelming. Um, but the story is pretty decent. Um, I think they could have done a little bit more polish on the story. However, it's probably one of those things where they had to rush it out of the door and they kind of cut corners a bit. But it looks phenomenal. Uh, once you get used to the controls, it's not too, too bad. Um, but also, in the game, um, the fighting kind of felt bland at one point. After the first few hours that you get to learn the controls or you gain new controls, it feels bland. Like you're doing the same thing over and over and over again. Um, so the fighting kind of felt stale, kind of felt boring. Uh, whereas I feel there's a little bit more variety in a game like Odyssey, uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, or, uh, but it's hard to compare those two games because of the time difference, right? This came out in 2013, Assassin's Creed Origins came out in 2016, I believe. So they had like three years to mature, 2017. So they had three years to mature. Um, and I think that, you know, um, I, I really do hope that they come out with a Rise Son of Rome at 1.2. Um, I think it would be really, really well welcomed. I would just hope that they would kind of put the emphasis on the story and you can make a fantastic game. Um, I mean, just take a, a fictional hero from, you know, uh, along the way and just, or take this character and just build from that, right? Um, obviously, if they ever announce a sequel, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be, exciting for a lot of people because it, it, this game was kind of underwhelming for a lot it just got a lot of mixed reviews at the beginning i can see why but um take in hindsight take a backseat of hindsight the story is not that bad and it's still seven years later the visuals are still freaking stunning it's remarkable and i commend them for that and some it looks better than some games that come out today which is like really astonishing um, anyways, that's my mini review. Um, I think it's a decent game short, had a lot of potential, but just fell a little bit short in like sh short in terms of storyline, but it fell a little bit short in quenching that thirst for like an Assassin's Creed Roman twist. Um, but anyways, uh, that's my review for tonight. We finally finished Rise Son of Rome. I don't know what I'm going to be playing next. Um, maybe, maybe Blazing Chrome, as you see on the screen, or Duke Nukem, maybe, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, thank you to everyone that passed by tonight, YG, Foxy, that one guy that I have no clue how to pronounce his freaking name, Ioku Poku Mai Goku, I don't know, and he said Bravo Umbre when I, I failed one of the fights. So I don't know if it was sarcastic or not, but he didn't stick too long. So I'm assuming that. <laughs> but thank you anyways for passing by and just saying hello. Uh, if you guys want to read my reviews, you can go to aroundtable.ca this week. My review is Doom Eternal. 
Um, a game that was very difficult, but I actually finished it. Surprisingly, I was this close to actually cutting it close, <laughs> cutting it out. This close, I was ready to not finish it. Uh, it's more difficult than Doom 2016. Uh, for sure, even at the easiest diff difficulty, at least the first time you're playing. After that, you, you get used to it, and I'm sure it's fine. But the first time you're playing, it's it's intense. And uh, it takes a while to get used to all the weapons and everything. But it's really cool. Looks amazing. Uh, continues the good name of Doom. Um, Bethesda didn't screw it up this time, which I'm really happy. Um, other than the signing into Bethesda.net there for, for to play. That's stupid. But anyways, uh, having said that, uh, that's my review. Uh, Spencer Confidential is the entertainment review uh, made by my brother. Uh, so check that out. If you guys go to aroundtable.ca, you can sign up to our newsletter. It comes out every two weeks. All of our most recent uh, reviews are there and news of the day. It's more of an entertainment thing, but it's not gossip per se. Uh, we don't gossip or anything. It's We're covering entertainment that we like, like rock groups, music movies, TV, whatever. I personally do a lot of retro reviews for TV shows. The last few that I did was Mike Hammer. I did Murder, She Wrote. Um, uh, I did Perfect Strangers uh, last year. There's a ton of content. Check it out. Give us a rating. You can go to Facebook to check aroundtable.ca uh, or aroundtable. You can go on Facebook to go to aroundtable, A-R-R. -R. And uh, yeah, uh, just follow us there. Obviously, you have my home on the internet. Uh, which is aroundtable.ca, but also Twitter, Corporate Gamer 9. I'm on Facebook, Corporate Gamer. Same for Instagram, Corporate Gamer. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think, if you like what you do. I also have a YouTube channel. I don't really use it as much, uh, but I do have a YouTube channel called, um, called uh, Corporate Gamer. And basically, it's all my footage from Twitch. I, I post it to there. And it also gives me a platform to share... Uh, snippets sample gameplay when i actually review my games all right guys have a wonderful wonderful evening i love you guys thank you so much hope to see you soon i don't know what i'm going to be playing next to be honest um i was hoping this would last a little bit longer but that's okay i can actually review it now uh but i don't know what i'm going to be playing next but i'm hoping that i can play something soon um Maybe what relevant? This was actually free, uh, a free download on Game Pass, so I may get something else on Game Pass as well. We'll see how that goes. All right, guys, have a wonderful evening, and I shall see you next time. Uh, and for some of you, it's very late. And thank you, Foxy, for staying in and sticking out. I'm you're probably falling asleep right now, not even paying attention to what I'm doing. Um, however, I will try to give a raid to somebody. Uh, four viewers. Um, let's uh, blue lock it. Legend of Heroes. Let's do that. All right, guys. Have a good one. Ciao.